want to know if the Golden Gate Bridge is holding up well, there could be an app for that. A new study involving MIT researchers shows that mobile phones placed in vehicles equipped with special software can collect useful structural integrity data while crossing bridges. In so doing, they could become a less expensive alternative to sets of sensors attached to bridges themselves. The core finding is that information about structural health of bridges can be extracted from smartphone collected accelerometer data. The research was conducted in part on the Golden Gate Bridge itself. The study showed that mobile devices can capture the same kind of information about bridge vibrations that stationary sensors combine. The researchers also estimate that depending on the age of a road bridge, mobile device monitoring could add from 15% to 30% more years to the structure's lifespan. Bridges naturally vibrate, and to study the essential model frequencies of those vibrations in many directions, engineers typically place sensors such as accelerometers on bridges themselves. Changes in the model frequencies over time may indicate changes in a bridge's structural integrity. To conduct the study, the researchers developed an Android-based mobile phone application to collect accelerometer data when the devices were placed in vehicles passing over the bridge. They could then see how well those data matched up with data record by sensors on bridges themselves to see if the mobile phone method worked. The researchers designed a methodology for extracting model vibration frequencies from noisy data collected from smartphones. As data from multiple trips over a bridge are recorded, noise generated by engine suspension and traffic vibrations and asphalt tend to cancel out while the underlying dominant frequencies emerge. In the case of the Golden Gate Bridge, the researchers drove over the bridge 102 times with their devices running and the team used 72 trips by Uber drivers with activated phones as well. The team then compared the resulting data to that from a group of 240 sensors that had been placed on the Golden Gate Bridge for three months. The outcome was that the data from the phones converged with that from the bridge's sensors. For 10 particular types of low-frequency vibrations engineers measure on the bridge, there was a close match and in five cases there was no discrepancy between the methods at all. However, only 1% of all bridges in the US are suspension bridges. About 41% are much smaller concrete span bridges. So the researchers also examined how well their method would fare in that setting. To do so, they studied a bridge in Italy comparing 280 vehicle trips over the bridge to six sensors that had been placed on the bridge for seven months. Here, the researchers were also encouraged by the findings, though they found up to a 2.3% divergence between methods for certain model frequencies over all 280 trips and a 5.5% divergence over a smaller sample. That suggests a larger volume of trips could yield more useful data.